Uh, all right. Um, public workshops and maker spaces are some some best places to find scrap materials, right? Uh, uh, there is one uh, great public workshop right in the middle of Oslo. Uh, it's called Bitraf. Um, I hang out there a lot, and you know, people build different things. There are a bunch of leftovers, and uh, normally, all that would end up being trash. Uh, so, um, um, yes, of course. Um, my name is uh, Koka. I'm a composer. I come from the contemporary classical music scene, uh, but once in a while, in order to entertain my mind and my soul, and to prevent myself from being bored, I build weird and strange musical instruments. Um, uh, yes, I normally build them out of um, objects that I randomly find. And the ones that I want to show you today are built nearly entirely out of uh, scrap. This one, for example. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's called a beat machine number one. It was the first beat machine I made. So you just crank it with your hands, and uh, you know it's it's a mechanical uh, instrument that plays only one single uh, rhythm in a way uh, that loops, right? Uh, this is another one, for instance. It's called Blink Wheel. Uh, it's an electromechanical device. It's like a MIDI controller, you know. Uh, with this, I uh, sometimes love to control synthesis uh, and samples. by inserting LED lights uh, around the wheel and you can see there is a spindle going around uh, or rather like a metal rod uh, um, uh, yes and uh, there is a motor inside there's just one motor some LEDs and uh, wood plywood from trash <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, and the one that I brought with me here today, uh, it is called Beat Machine Number Two. It was the second beat machine I made. I'll just turn on this webcam here. Uh, yes. So, uh, what we have here is a soldering iron holder coil, uh, right, with some pliers. Uh, that soldering iron was functional, by the way, it was not trash. Okay, uh, this is like a piece of wood and three springs. I use that as a, as a snare drum. The coil I use as a bass drum. Then there is this weird uh, uh, glass tube and uh, metal rod. Uh, it's just a wooden box uh, with all these objects attached, attached to it. And then there are four electromagnets that hit those objects and uh, play rhythms. So I pre-programmed it. It will now play a small little funny demo for us and I'll try to magnify some stuff so that you can have a closer look. Right, so let's see. Bass drum. Snap.
I'm just adding in some synth bass here. It doesn't play bass, it plays only rhythms, right? I know I should say something meaningful at the end, but that's actually what I wanted to show you today. Uh, and I hope uh, I managed to inspire a little bit, just a little bit, uh, some of you. Thanks so much.